Good morning. We are students of Erica Place in Technology under the subject AMD 214 schedule MWM 1124. The gas turbine engine is an internal combustion engine that uses air as the working fluid. Today we will be presenting the parts of the turbine engine, the process for steps on how to remove the engine, followed by the safety procedures when conducting engine removal, and lastly, how to stop Without further ado, let me hand it over to my classmates to explain in depth what the uh, turbine engine is. Here we can see the air inlet that open through which air is drawn into the engine for combustion. The engine inlet of the turbine engine is designed to provide a relatively distortion and reflow of air the required quantity to the inlet of the compressor. The main purpose of intake, the device installed for the purpose of drawing water from the source of water are called intakes. The basic function of intake structure is to help in safety, safely withdrawing water from source and then discharge discharge this water in the withdrawal conduit. Through through which it reaches the water treatment plant. What exactly exactly do air intake systems do? The simplest terms are the simplest terms, air intake systems bring air from outside the vehicle into your engine's intake manifold, where it is then mixed with the fuel from your gas tank. What takes you have a turbine engine where is ambient air prepared for combustion? It starts at the inlet drawing in and directing air, it enters the water where the combustion happens. Of a gas turbine engine comprises several integral components. It begins, it begins with the inlet, where ambient air is is efficiently channeled into the engine. From there, the compressor takes the center stage, utils, utilizing the axial flow uh, technology to compress the incoming air. So, elevating its pressure and density as the compressed air exits. The diffuser, which plays a crucial role in slowing the air and, fur and further boosting its pressure energy to increase the combustion and efficiency. The next part we are about to discuss is the compression section. The compression section spans from here all the way towards here. The compression section uses centrifugal, centrifugal and axial forces that takes the air that comes in from the inlet and compresses them for it for the air to be for the air to be pressurized, which is which is very crucial in the next part which is the combustion section. So for the parts of the compression section, the more, uh, one of the most important parts that pressurizes the air coming in is the compressor plates, which you can see inside here. The compressor blades are rotating, are pressing in position and rotating this within, within the compressor stages. As the engine spins, the blades draw in air, progressively compressing it with each stage. The, the primary purpose of the compressor blade is to increase the air pressure, ensuring a higher concentration of oxygen for compensation in the next stage. I will show you the function and the importance of the compressor engine in gas Gas turbine engine. The compressor is the fundamental component of gas turbine engine, responsible for essential essential duties of the power generation process. Its primary function and compressor incoming air, which directly to the combustion chamber. The compression serves as multiple purpose overall operation engine. First, first and foremost. Signification of increase the pressure of air prepared it for the combustion. Higher air pressure allows for more efficient, powerful combustion, contributing to increased class and power output. Moreover, moreover, the compressor is the typical role of enhancing engine defense efficiency by compressing the air and increase the temperature as well. This elevates the insurance and more plus and effectiveness of combustion 
with combined with a few of the bashing chimney. The turbine uh, link the shaft to turn the blades in the compressor to spin in the intake fan in the front. The rotation to take some energy from the high energy flow that is used to drive the fan and the compressor to the gases produced in the combustion chamber move through the turbine and spin its blades. Combustion is a fundamental process that takes place in aircraft's engine to generate the power needed for flight. It's like the very hard now let's dive into the fascinating world of the force road cycle, which is commonly used in external combustion engines. Picture this, the force stroke are like a well choreographed dance routine for your engine. At the first force stroke cycle is intake stroke. During this first stroke, the engine is in a mixture of air and fuel into the combustion chamber. The intake valve opens and the piston moves downward, creating a vacuum that draws in the fuel and air mixer. Compression stroke. Next comes the compression stroke. Compression stroke. Both the intake and the exhaust valve are closed and the piston moves upward, compressing the fuel. Compressing the fuel, sir. This compression increases. The pressure and temperature making the mixture highly combustible. Power stroke. Now it's time for the power stroke. When the piston reaches the top, the spark plug ignites the, the highly compressed mixture, causing a controlled explosion. This explosion forces the piston back down, generating power that drives the engine. Uh, it's, it's all stroke, lastly, uh, the exhaust stroke completes the cycle. The exhaust valve opens, the piston moves upward, pushing out the burn gases from the combustion chamber. This clears the way from the next intake stroke to so begin a new cycle. The turbine engine combustion chamber is usually located here. So it is a component where fuel is mixed with air and ignited to produce high pressure and high temperature gases. So these gases then flow into the turbine section, driving the turbine blades and ultimately powering the aircraft or other machinery. So the combustion chamber plays a critical role in the overall efficiency and performance of the turbine engine. The hot section refers to the portion of the gas turbine engine that operates at high this includes the combustion, turbine, and exhaust section. Turbine section has exceptional energy performance, particularly in power generation and motion, where their efficiency shines. Their compact design and quickness of its time, notably in gas turbine, make them vital for application with space constraints and thus aircraft engines. Importantly, advanced turbine technologies contribute to reduce emissions compared to conventional engines, enhancing their profile and environmental The higher power to weight ratio, especially in gas turbines, proves advantageous in weight sensitive applications and activation efficiency. Over the military use of free. Furthermore, this is a very significant step to renewable energy. Combustion chamber of an exhaust system is a component where fuel and air mix and undergo combustion, reducing high temperature exhaust gases. It is a crucial part of an internal combustion engine, playing a key role in converting fuel into energy and ultimately generating the correct function needed for vehicle movement. Improper exhaust flow. Improper exhaust flow from the combustion chamber can result in various issues such, such as reduced engine efficiency and power. Common problems include exhaust gas backflow, 
in complete production and restrictions in the exhaust system. These issues can lead to decreased performance, increased emission, and potential damage to engine components over time. Regular maintenance and addressing any malfunction promptly are essential to ensure optimal exhaust flow and overall engine function. In, in rubber color monoxide racing, there are two types of exhaust smoke, blue smoke and black smoke. Blue smoke is usually an indication of oil burning in the combustion chamber. This could be used by bulb cells, bulb guides, piston rings, worn cylinder walls, or the PCB system. Black smoke, black smoke is usually nods to the excess burning of fuel, wasting gas, and costing you money. The most prevalent in exhaust is exhaust manifold cracks and damage from where and there are serious problems which should be fixed and as possible, this part transfer noxious gases away from the engine for treatment and damage her could mean the gases can get into passenger areas. Using noises when driving can be sign of damage. Gas turbine. The gas turbine has an internal combustion engine that uses air as working fluid. The engine extracts the chemical energy of fuel and converts it to mechanical energy using gaseous energy of the working fluid. To drive the engine and propeller, which is in third of proper <laughs> The parts of the gas turbine is air inlet, compression section, combustion section, turbine section, and exhaust section. The advantage of this is the gas turbine is has a smooth in operation and continuous in performance, and it does not have an any reciprocating parts and ends are easy to balance. Turbine engine. So first is the intake. To remove an intake turbine engine, begin by disconnecting all associated electrical and fuel connection. Next is unbolt the engine from its mounting point and carefully detach any connecting components. Finally, lift the engine out of its housing using appropriate equipment, ensuring a controlled and safe removal process. The whole section of a gas turbine engine refers to the components that, man that manage airflow before combustion, uh, such as the compressor and inlet. Removing it would involve dismantling these parts carefully, usually for maintenance or repair purposes. It's, de it's a detailed process typically performed by skilled technicians with proper tools and safety measures. The, the removal process for a gas turbine engine's fault section involves various steps such as disconnection of components, inspection for damage, lifting the parts carefully, and ensuring proper storage or maintenance. It's a meticulous procedure that requires technical expertise and adherence to safety protocols to avoid damage to the engine or injury to personnel. The removal of compressor section for inspection in a turbine engine is a complex process that involves careful planning. So this is the, the compressor section. It involves a careful planning, adherence to safety protocols, and following, manuf following manufacturer guidelines. And we must ensure that the aircraft are or our engine is properly secured and supported on a stable platform. Disconnect and secure all power sources to the engine. Obtain the necessary documentation including maintenance, maintenance manuals and technical specifications. And remove remove access panels and covers to gain access to the compressor section. Identify and label all components in the compressor section to facilitate reassembly. Disconnect electrical connection sensors and disconnect electrical electrical connections sensors and instrumentations related to the compressor sections use a use lifting equipment to support support the weight of the compressor section during removal and last inspect inspect the compressor section thoroughly 
for signs of wear, damage, and degradation. So, removing the combustion section of a gas turbine engine would essentially render it unable to produce thrust or power. The combustion section is where fuel is mixed with compressed air and ignited, creating the high temperature, high pressure gases that drive the turbine. Without combustion, the engine cannot generate the necessary force for propulsion or energy generate generation. It's not a practical simplification and should be approached with extreme caution, considering safety and operational concerns. Removing a turbine from a gas turbine engine involves several complex uh, steps and should be done by trained professionals broadly. The process includes access and inspection. Remove any external components that may obstruct access to the turbine. Inspect the engine for any signs of damage and wears. Next is draining the fluids. Drain and properly dispose of any fluids such as oil or fuel uh, or hydraulic flu fluid from the engine. Disconnect and next is disconnecting systems. Disconnect electrical and hydraulic, si hydraulic systems connected to the turbine makes for an easy access in removing the turbine. Next is removing external components like the cowling, the engine cowling and other panels. Next is removing inlet guide vanes or IGV. If applicable, remove the IGVs to access the turbine blades. Dismounting accessories. Deta detach accessories such as fuel nozzles, igniters and sensors. Next is dismantling the turbine sections. Dismantle the engine in sections following the aircraft manual or technical documentation. Next is next and the last is turbine removal. Detach the turbine from the engine core, taking care with lifting and handling procedures. Removing the exhaust section in turbine engines. First, disconnect the aircraft for a, from any external power sources. Document the current condition of the exhaust section for maintenance and record keeping purposes. Remove the engine cowlings to provide access to the exhaust components. Since this engine doesn't have a covers, we can clearly see the exhaust section in the tail part of an engine. We can also see that the exhaust nozzle was retracted because it is applicable to provide clearance for removal. Next, carefully remove, remove the box, nuts, and fasteners securing the exhaust system to the engine or airframe. Disconnect and remove the exhaust sections carefully. We must ensure proper support and handling to avoid damage. Verify that the remo removal is done smoothly and without causing damage to surrounding components. Lastly, inspect the removed components for any signs of damage and malfunction. In combustion chamber, removing the combustion chamber in a gas turbine engine typically involves several steps and safety precautions. It often requires shutting down the engine, disconnecting fuel and ignition systems, and then dis disassembling various components to access the combustion chamber. It's a complex procedure that requires expertise and adherence to manufacturer guidelines to ensure safety and proper reassembly. So, here I'm going to explain the removal of compressor blades in a gas turbine engine. We have a few different steps that we can follow and step one is remove the compressor belt. There's a compressor belt inside this turbine engine that we have to remove and second is disconnect the electrical. Some of these lines are causing to be the lines of the electrical housing and all of that electrical function. Next is disconnect the refrigerated lines. So like one of these lines, like this freon line, we can remove this from the gas turbine engine. And third most part, remove all of these nuts and bolts so that we can remove all of the compressor blades and the compression inside of this gas turbine engine. And lastly, if you want to replace, we can install a new compressor blade or compressor section. So there be all. Hot friction. There are many excellent reasons to perform on HSI. It helps make sure that aircraft engine will continue delivering the expected power and performance. Uh, inspections are important as they allow you to listen and to concern of workers and su supervisors. Gain further understanding 
of jobs and tasks identify excess potential hazards. And that's the purpose of a removal of a combustion hard section. First is, we need to thoroughly inspect all the relevant documentations of the aircraft, including the aircraft's maintenance manual. Second, we need to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment to ensure our safety, just like gloves, safety glass, reflectorized vest, and hearing protection just like earmuffs. Follow proper engine shuttle procedures, ensuring all the controls are in the opposition. Confirm the aircraft is securely parked with brake engage and wheels jump. After engine removal, inspect the area for any damage or loose components. Adhere to environmental regulations while handling fluids and disposing of waste. As what we say, communication is key. So you must establish clear communication protocols among the removal team members. At all times, ensure personnel involved are trained and qualified for the specific engine removal procedures. Have emergency procedures in place including first aid, fire response, and evacuation plans. Use proper tools and equipment for the job ensuring they are in good condition and suitable for the test. Disconnect and isolate the electrical systems to prevent accidental activation during the removal process. Safely drain and depressurize fuel and hydraulic systems according to the aircraft's manual. Perform the engine removal in a controlled environment to mitigate weather-related risks. Use certified lifting equipment and follow proper rigid procedures. Ensure equipment is in good condition and within load limits.